Hi everyone, champagne boating on a beer budget. I am about to show you a boat. It is a T30, a Halsey Hairshoff design. It is located uh, in Texas, Port Isabel, and it's for sale for 12.5. I am going to start off by showing you the outside. Here's the front. The kayak is not included, but just about everything else with the boat is. I'm going to have to double check on the year for you. The previous owner passed away and his family has given it to the marina to sell. So. You'll be making a deal with Jim. He is the owner here at Pelican Point Marina, where the boat is located. So if you have any further questions after this video, Jim at Pelican Point Marina is going to be the person you want to talk to. I've been wanting to do one of these live videos of a boat at a marina for a while now, so I'm pretty excited to bring this one to you. Hi Brenda and hello Paula. So if you have any questions, hello Jason, uh, I can answer as much as I can, but I don't know everything about this boat. All right, so I am going to go on the boat and I will give you a look at the inside and uh, Hope you guys like this video. If you do, by the way, you can donate to sailingbangerang at gmail.com. All right, here I go. Here is the inside. I am not sure if all of this stuff is going to be coming with the boat. You're going to have to talk to Jim. Like I said, the uh, previous owner passed away and basically left everything on the boat. But it's really, really cool design. And it's pretty neat. So I'm just going to go down the stairs and I'll give you a view of the cockpit in a minute. Looks like he took out the gimbal stove. And he also replaced the double sink. Which from my perspective is kind of unfortunate. But it has a lot of storage space. This is the kitchen area. There's where the stove would go. And there's storage right above the kitchen area. This is the living area. Also, lots of storage. This is a really good boat for a family too because you know you have this big area it's a galley not a kitchen thanks Paula and this seating area and you have all this storage space along the wall here and look at that aft berth two people could fit there I'm kind of jealous I have a Pearson 323 and this one even though it's only a 30 seems like it has a lot of space oh, Liana, what up? Glad to see some of my friends here. <laughs> so I will show you the engine. I know you guys want to see this. this. is like everybody's favorite part. I think it looks pretty good. And this boat was sailing right before he passed away. So this is the engine. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will come back to them and ask. Try to give you the best look I can. And I'll just go slow because I know some of you want to see certain things. It looks pretty good. I'm not an expert, but I think it looks nice down there. 
Atomic two-cylinder diesel. Thank you, Brian. All right, so now I'm going to check out the back area, unless you guys wanted to see more of the engine. Looks pretty nice, though, huh? All right, one more look at the galley. Shine a, shine a light under the engine. Oh, you want to see what's going on down here? Is that what you mean? Because there's no way I'm getting underneath there. But that's about it. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you back to the back. And Paula, I agree, those are swell. This is the uh, bathroom door, which also has a really cool map. I'm not even sure exactly what that is, but I'm definitely intrigued. And there's the V-Birth. It's got double bunk beds. Pretty sweet if you got kids. My kids would love this. Oh, here, let me give you guys some light. Bed. There's the other bed. And all of the mattresses look like they're in really good shape. Storage. Bunch of drawers with storage. There's tools. There's a floating cooler back there. Hey, that could come in handy. And here's a bathroom. Sink. Let's see if there's a shower. I'm looking for the shower. There it is. There it is. There's the shower. Yeah. Every boat's got to have a shower. Seriously, you want to wash that salt off you, you salty sailors. So, he's got a little shower curtain right here already. And there's the shower grate. It's in good shape. I think he took pretty good care of this boat. Alright, so then I'm going to show you some storage behind the door here. There's a little latch on the door. And this is a closet. You can hang your clothes or boat gear. Lots of space. I mean, look how big this area is. For a small boat, this is a really big boat. More drawers. If there's anything else you guys want to see while I'm here, please let me know. All right, look, it comes with a life jacket, too. Now, my boat didn't have any of these nice life jackets when I bought it, so uh, someone's going to be lucky. There's a lot of gear on this boat. This guy was sailing, like I said, right before he passed away, so there's tons and tons and tons of gear. Yeah, I know, Paula, I'm having drawer envy as well as space envy. I mean, look at this place. It's this room is huge. It's a really, really nice hangout room. I'm not sure if there's a table for this area, but it does look like there's a little shelf on the wall there for a table, so. And obviously he liked pillows. Sweet uh, monitor there. Looks like a little cushion. Oh, he's got more of these. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys outside now. It's been sailed in the last three months. I'm gonna close the, uh, the engine up. Looks like we got a battery charger. Nice steps, solid, solid steps, not too steep, 
This is the uh, cockpit area. It is a T30 uh, Halsey hair shaft design. And I'm not sure on the year. I'm gonna have to double check with the marina owner on that. And I hope this lighting is okay for you guys. Really wide cockpit area. I don't know if there's cushions or anything. Nice little area to cut your fish when you catch it. Life sling. Center cockpit, or sorry, aft cockpit. And I'll go out here and give you guys a, another view of the outside. I mean, he's got all kinds of stuff, like all kinds of boat stuff and cushions here. You can sit on that out here. I don't know what that black thing is that's wrapped up in leather. If anybody knows what that is, uh, please let me know. Another area to cut your fish. I'm actually quite jealous. This boat is really cool. I would probably trade my boat for this boat. It, it needs a bottom scrape and I don't know when it was hauled out last. I know some of these questions are what you guys want to know. So you'll have to look into that more if you're interested. I'm going to take a walk. around the outside all right you guys so again this is in uh, Port Isabel at Pelican Point Marina and this boat is for sale for 12.5 it's a t30 and if you like this video feel free to donate to sailingbangerang at gmail.com through PayPal and we accept crypto too you can PM me and I'm gonna switch the view All right, here is the outside. Look at that. Lifeline and lifeline netting. There is a cushion for the cockpit. There's another cushion over there. They might need a little tender loving care, but cushions are nice for the cockpit. I'm gonna walk around here. Rigging. Feels pretty good. See if I can give you guys a close up of some of this stuff going on. Those windows look nice. Get close up on the rigging. Okay, I did. I don't know how much closer you want me to get. There's the mainsail covered. Should be in pretty good shape if he was sailing it. There's the other cushions. Yeah, it looks like they, uh, the outside looks good inside might need a little help and there's the front sail not all boats come with lifeline and lifeline netting so if you have kids and you're looking for a boat this might be a good one for you sorry it doesn't come with the kayak but just about everything else You want to see more of the close-up of the rigging? All right. Let's see here. There's some more rigging. I don't see a windlass. There's that outdoor hose for spraying off the boat. Looks like maybe another sail. Lots of extras. By the way, I think that covering is a trampoline net. And isn't that a great idea for shade? <laughs> All the birds hang out on that dock. The abandoned boat dock over there. That's why this one looks really nice. All right, I don't know about the windlass, and I don't think there is a windlass. I could be wrong. Looks like the anchor locker is right there under this cool chair. 
Okay, well, I'm just about done here with my video. I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to see. If there is anything else you want to see, leave it in the comments and I will get to your questions. I'll get answers for your questions. I'll take one more look at the outside. Now well, there's your handles for your winches. Give you guys one more look at the outside as best I can. If I can get off of here, sorry about that. All right. So there is some growth on the bottom. <laughs> just like every boat so I think it definitely needs a scrape and I'll try to get some close stuff for you guys here some really nice bumpers to take her out. What do you guys think? Oh, wow. Look at that. The boat's called Finding Neverland. How weird. That is so neat. Hello, Peter. There is some synchronicity with Neverland, that's for sure. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. This is Alma signing off of Champagne Boating on a Beer Budget. Peace, check you later.